Hey everybody, uh, thanks for joining me. It's uh, kind of late on a, what is today, Wednesday. Uh, just finished up some paperwork and uh, thought I'd just do a quick live. Uh, we're always talking about buying and selling homes. Uh, that's what we'll be talking about today. And uh, real quick, before we get going, if you need some help or want some help uh, buying or selling or just want to talk to somebody about it, uh, you can give us a call at 949-662-3150 uh, or go to showcasecall.com and uh, click a few buttons, get scheduled with us to uh, talk. So, all right, cool. What we're going to be talking about today is for uh, home sellers. Well, actually, I guess this could be for buyers as well. Uh, if you're a home seller, uh, you're going to be filling out some uh, disclosures. They're part of what's called your seller disclosures. And uh, these are some things where you're going to go through some questions, check off some boxes, and um, these are disclosures that you're going to give to the uh, potential buyer of the home. And uh, these disclosures, uh, how you fill them out, very important because this is what, uh, this is the, the, I think the title of this is like why home sellers get sued uh, or number one reason home sellers get sued. And it's the disclosures. Uh, so we're going to talk about that, talk about what to do, what not to do, and uh, hopefully you'll find it helpful and hopefully it'll keep you from uh, getting into uh, trouble with the buyer of your home. And if you are a buyer, uh, this is some good information for you to know because uh, you're going to be on the receiving end of these disclosures. And so this gives you an idea of uh, you know what to look for, uh, I would say. So hey, if you, if you are just joining us uh, real quick before we jump into the information, uh, and you want some help, you can give us a call or you can uh, go to our website, showcasecall.com, and schedule a time for us to talk and we'll help you out. And uh, there's no pressure or anything. We'll just uh, be glad to uh, help you if we can help you. So uh, so when you get ready to sell a house, one of the things that you're going to do is uh, fill out some disclosures. Uh, the two main disclosures, that the two disclosures we're going to be talking about today is what's called the SPQ or Seller Property Questionnaire or the uh, TDS, uh, that's the transfer disclosure, uh, transfer disclosure statement. So on those two forms, uh, there's a lot of questions. In fact, I had to jot this down real quick just to see there's, there's 16 categories of questions. Um, oh wow, yeah, there's 16 categories of questions uh, and then there's an additional 43 uh, categories about the operating condition. So there's 16 categories of questions about defects and malfunctions of, of your home that you're aware of. And then there's 43 categories that are about the operating condition of your home. Uh, so there's 73 questions all together. And these cover a wide range of topics. Uh, they cover things like uh, permits. Did you make any uh, additions to the home or renovations? Did you make any changes to the home? And if you did, did you do it with permits or without permits? It's going to ask you things like, you know, did someone uh, pass away on the property uh, within a certain period of time? It's going to ask you, uh, uh, you know, are there any uh, foundational issues uh, to the property? These are all things that um, you have to answer to the best of your knowledge. And if you've been living in the home, you know, uh, it's going to be different than if you were a uh, uh, you know, an investment property, if this was a home that you rented out to tenants, you may not know the answer to some of these things. So the, the thing that happens sometimes is people uh, allow their real estate agent to fill this out for them, and the agent doesn't fill it out correctly because the agent doesn't live there. So the agent doesn't know, you know these things about the property. And then later on, the person that bought the house uh, has a problem with something, finds out that uh, you know, through discovery of whoever's making the repair or just the discovery of uh, an, somebody that's trying to provide an estimate, uh, then uh, they find out that uh, something was done to the property that wasn't properly disclosed on the statement. And so that's where the problem gets in. Uh, problem comes in for uh, uh, the seller is they just didn't disclose what they should have disclosed. So uh, that's one of the things, uh, like for example, if you have a home warranty on your home and we encourage everybody to get a home warranty uh, when they purchase a home, you should uh, be provided one either by your agent or by the seller. Uh, but uh, uh, when you get a home warranty, if you have something uh, that's covered by the home warranty, like let's say your garbage disposal goes out and the home warranty covers that garbage disposal and replaces it, that's something that you need to disclose on the, uh, uh, on the disclosures. You need to fill that out properly. Let's say that you had a, uh, a roof leak and you fixed that leak 
and the, it hasn't leaked since. You haven't had any problems with it. You can't tell at all that there ever was a roof leak. You still have to disclose it. Um, so uh, basically what happens is um, people get bad advice from family or a real estate agent or whoever and they fill this thing out wrong or they don't get any advice at all but inside their head they're thinking that they're better off you know, not disclosing this or they don't have to disclose this and then later on that comes back to kind of bite them in the, in the you know what. So uh, real quick before we sum some things up and kind of uh, this is kind of a short one, but before we sum some things up, just want to let you know, if you're really serious about buying or selling a house, uh, reach out to us. We'd love to talk with you. You might find that uh, there's some things we can help you with. Uh, you might have some questions. You might have some concerns about doing this. If you've bought before, but you've never sold before, it's a different kind of experience because you are now you're selling one house while you're buying another. A lot of times when somebody's doing that, uh, they're trying to go from one house to the next uh, and basically uh, not end up with two houses. Uh, sometimes they're trying. To, sometimes they can't end up with two houses because uh, they can't qualify for both payments. So they got to sell one house to get the other. So there's a lot of questions that people have when they're going through this process. Uh, you might also be wondering, you know, like how long is it going to take to sell your house or you know, some different things, whatever your questions, concerns are, we'd love to, you know, get on the phone, talk with you about it. It's really low pressure. We don't uh, try to twist your arm and force you to do something. So we just get on the phone and find out what it is that you're wanting to accomplish, give you some suggestions, point you in the right direction. When it's all said and done, you may end up wanting to hire us. You might want us to help you to sell or to buy, uh, but you may not. Either way is cool with us. Uh, we're just happy to, to be able to get that opportunity to talk with you about what it is that you want to, uh, to achieve. And um, if you want, you can just pick up the phone and give us a call. Our number is 949-662-3150. Uh, if you uh, want to schedule a time to talk, you can go to our uh, site that we have set up. It's called showcasecall.com, and you can schedule a uh, appointment to talk at that time. Uh, when we get on the phone, if you want to know more about some of our programs, uh, like for example, we uh, offer a program for sellers where we sell homes for uh, $3,150. That's the uh, flat fee listing fee. And it comes with a guarantee. It's real simple if you're not happy with the service and results that we're providing and the treatment that we're giving you, then uh, real simple, we'll just sell your house for free. We won't charge you that $3,150. Uh, we'll also give you another 500 bucks at closing. You know, we don't want this to be a, a bad situation for you. Uh, so, you, you know, we're, I don't know of a whole lot of uh, real estate brokers that back that back up their service with the guarantee, but we do. Uh, if you uh, were interested in buying another home, then uh, we have buyer programs too. Uh, with the buyer program, we give you a cash back rebate. That rebate comes from the commission that we earn as your buyer's agent. And I think right now our average rebate is maybe... Uh, you know, it depends on the price of the home, obviously, but the average rebate, I think right now, is like around $3,500. So, oh, and we do a guarantee with that as well. If you're not happy with what you're getting with us representing you as your buyer's agent, then we'll turn around and give you an additional 5% uh, uh, cash back rebate on top of the, uh, the rebate that you're already getting. We just want you to be happy. So uh, there's, there's uh, you know, nothing that we want to do to, to make you feel like, uh, we didn't give you the service that we promised you. So that's a little bit about us. If you want to schedule something, go to showcasecall.com and get scheduled with us or just pick up the phone. And uh, right now, I just want to recap things uh, and go over what we were just talking about. If you're selling a house, you're going to be filling out some disclosures that are given to the buyer. And it's very important that you fill out these disclosures honestly and completely. Um, the disclosures are going to have questions about uh, defects about the property that you're familiar with, uh, maybe malfunctions of, uh, you know, different things that could have uh, occurred, it could have been like uh, plumbing issues or AC issues. Uh, it's going to ask you questions about um, building permits. Um, what else? It's going to ask you questions about uh, maybe some things that you've done to the home, some renovations that you've made. It's going to ask you uh, about foundational issues. There's a lot of questions. What you want to do is you want to answer those truthfully because that is the uh, number one reason that uh, home sellers end up getting sued by the buyer is because they just didn't answer that thing. They didn't answer the questions truthfully. Uh, the buyer bought the home. 
uh, based on the information that they were provided by you as the seller. And then uh, later on, if they have an issue and uh, that ends up costing them money or it ends up being something where they're not happy with their purchase, now they're going to come back to you. And um, it's pretty easy a lot of times to prove that something uh, was wrong with the property or fixed on a property before it was sold. So, you know, it's really tough to get out of something like that. The best thing you can do is just go ahead and disclose that information and the buyer is going to, you know, uh, buy the property or they're not going to buy the property. Uh, our experience is most of the time they're not scared off by anything like that. You know, if they want the home, uh, they're, they're going to buy the home. So it's in your best interest just to disclose it properly. All right, uh, we're going to wrap it up. Thanks for joining us. Uh, if, if you are serious about buying or selling a home, uh, give us a call or schedule a call with us. Uh, you can go to 949, uh, you can go to showcasecall.com and schedule, or you can call us at 949-662-3150. And um, uh, when we talk, we'll answer all your questions. You might want us to help you to buy or sell, you may not. Either way, uh, we're just happy to point you in the right direction and uh, you know, make sure that you're, you're uh, getting, the things, getting your questions and your concerns uh, taken care of. Okay? All right, have an awesome day and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.